good morning today we can see about the topic sound sound what is what do you mean by sound sound is a type of energy made by the vibration which a human can hear so sound is a type of energy made by vibrations when an object vibrates it causes movement in surrounding air molecules these molecules bump into the molecules closed to them causing a vibrate as well this makes them bump into more nearby air molecules then this is, this forms a chain reaction movement which is known as the sound waves keep going until the molecules run out of the energy then pitch and frequency if your ear is within a range of such vibration you hear a sound however the vibration need to be at a certain speed in order for us to hear them for example we uh, we would not be able to hear the slow vibration that are made by waving our hands in the air so while we wave our hands in the air we can't hear any sound because it is of low frequency that is the 20 kilohertz so 20 vibration per second is the slowest vibration that a human ear can reach and the fastest vibration we can hear that is the human can hear is 20000 a uh, vibration per second which would be a very high pitched sound types of sound waves there are three, three types of sound waves there is uh, those are the audible sound waves infrasonic and ultrasonic sound waves are characterized into audible sound infrasonic ultrasonic audible sound is the sound waves are those that humans can hear infrasonic waves are those that are too low frequency that is below 20 hertz for the human to hear ultrasonic sound waves are those that are too high frequency that is about 2000 or 20000 hertz for the human to hear the si unit of sound si unit of sound is decibel it is denoted by db in physics sound is a vibration that propagates as an acoustic wave through a transmission medium such as gas liquid solid that those are the states of matter so in human physiology and psychology sound is the reception of such waves and their perception by the brain so in physics it is known as a transmission medium and in psychology and philosophy uh, it is known as the reception of su- such waves and perception by the brain acoustics in acoustics acoustics is the interdisciplinary science that deals with the study of mechanical waves in gas liquid and solid including the vibration sound ultrasound and infrasound on coming to this this is the frequency frequency uh, for infrasound is 2 hertz for audible sound is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and for ultrasound is 20 kilohertz to 2 Meha heads. So the wavelength is differentiated from uh, 170 meter to the 172 mu m. Uh, it depends on about the size, the wave, and the here and etc. Then the two waves that those are the longitudinal waves and transverse waves. On coming to the longitudinal waves, sound is transmitted through the gas. plasma and liquid as longitudinal waves it is also known as the compression waves as it compress the volume which can uh, audible to the human ear transverse waves transverse waves are through the solids however it can be transmitted as both longitudinal waves and transverse waves so in liquid we see about the longitudinal waves and in solid we see about the transverse waves the characteristics of the sound the main characteristics of sound waves include wavelength amplitude frequency time period and velocity on coming to the wavelength the distance that one wave travels before it repeats itself is known as the wavelength in amplitude the size of the given wave think height as opposed to length frequency the number of sound waves a sound produces per second measured in hertz that is the hz is known as the frequency on coming to velocity the amount of distance in meters per second that a wave transverses in one second is known as the velocity so the main characteristics is wavelength amplitude frequency and velocity
uses uses for the sound so it is used to ma mainly in the communication so it is used for communication to hearing or audible sounds etc sound is used in sonar when we are find the depth of the sea or the position of the submarine using the reflection of sound so when we see the example uh, we can hear the we can i we can find the root the sound is used in various electronic devices such as tv radio cd players and cassettes infrasonic sound are used to drill oil wells whereas the ultrasonic finds various application in fields like engineering diagnostic medicine and surgery today we saw about the sound the uh, difference of uh, sound waves the types of sound and the characteristics and the uses of the sound Thank you so much. Thank you.